Well, my problem is I live in Dallas, so I, you know, I, I've always wondered how to get on game shows living out of state and how to go. I always thought people from California. Oh, I don't know. Now, do they only take local people on game shows? No, is that no, the way no, you do? no, no. So no. how do you do it if you're from out of state? People are visiting here and they'll, here you are. they'll fill out an application <laughs> yeah. and uh, they do an interview and they usually take a picture of the whole thing and then they'll call you and then you have to pay your flight in <laughs> to get on the game show. You would four dollars and fifty cents and you'll never look at that show again but no so, so a lot of people are here on vacation and they go to studios and they fill out applications and they interview so they actually that... interview like for, for a part in a play or anything but the problem is that sometimes they, they have what they call you they want to see them twice otherwise you see a contestant and they're really wonderful and you maybe you want to bring them back again to see them again and if you live out of state that means two trips in so it's real yeah. difficult that right way. and it's much well, don't you think it's much harder to pl actually play when the tape is rolling than it is when you're sitting at home. Oh, I yeah. mean, people sit at home and go, oh, no, that. how stupid is she? <laughs> <laughs> and then when you get there, it's harder. It's if you want to know, you know, just play a family feud one time. <laughs> yeah, With and, your and family. Be up there, and they, you give you 10 seconds on the clock, uh -huh. and you're trying to play for a charity, and, and uh, that's when the pressure really hits. It scared See, me to death. Well, you know, Vicki Price is right. uses almost exclusively out-of-town people on this show daily. Well, you don't have to audition for that one, do you? No. No. Well, you're, you're just, just standing just in line you and you get on. You just uh, go You're down standing there in line at the CBS, and then you get to, uh, up there. They're, they're always there. looking for outgoing people, people yeah. who they they try to make a judgment on it, who will not freeze up on camera. Oh! That's the, oh! <laughs> that's the idea. You've been hanging out with those chimpanzees. <laughs> I had a contestant who jumped up and down like that once, got so excited when she won the money. She had long fingernails, and her fingernail caught me and got my lip. I bled for three days. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, you kissed it, it was right here. I did. So do you think that, uh, that realistically you can prepare for a game show? Do you think you can prepare for Password? Well, I don't think you could prepare <laughs> for it. Uh, if we're looking for tips on, on the best way to get on game shows, uh, marrying the MC was a... a <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, some of the harder shows. Like, can you prepare for Jeopardy? Can you... Well, I... They have severe tests on Jeopardy. I mean, you have Do to they? Take, oh, you, I mean, you have to take some really, really tough tests to get on Jeopardy. Sure. And then are those categories, are those uh, the stuff that those people are really good at, or are they just totally random? I, I think they're real generalists, I really. think they're totally really? random. And, you know, they have a celebrity Jeopardy every once in a while. And they ask me each time, and you've never seen me do it. No, no I would will. never, Betty. I would be scared to death. And I, I, I have dinner with Alex every night, you know, watching it. Uh -huh. And I ask, oh, yes. And I tell the dogs, and the dogs say, oh, good, Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. I did Jeopardy with Art Fleming. Did you? With Bill Cullen. Who as a contestant? As a, we, we were the uh, playing for charity. And, uh, I bet you did beautifully. Oh, we did very well. It was amazing. Uh, my favorite, though, was the bonus question. What was the name of the actress that uh, was on the Empire State Building that the ape held, you know, King Kong? I know. And, uh, yeah, of course. I said Fay Ray. And Fay Ray. And Bill Cullen said Francis Fay. Uh, now, you, that's a good joke in certain areas. Francis Fay was bigger than the King Kong. And was a piano player. And, well, I shouldn't go into this. <laughs> did you guys, when you were hosting your shows, did you get approached on the street all the time for people saying, oh, I want to be on your show, and how do I do that? And no, they, they always say, oh, you're Dick Clark. Uh, do they get you confused? Yeah, I, I, you're Dick Clark. You did, I'll tell you this, God's truth. I'm standing waiting to be introduced in Dallas, Texas one time. Guy walks up to me and says, hey, you're Ken Lang, the dating game, aren't you? I says, no, I'm not. He says, oh, you are, too. About that time, the guy on the stage says, and here he is, the star of our show, Bob Eubanks. The guy says, see, he told you you were. <laughs> Vicky. Known each other. I hate to say how many years. That was many page, years. I was a page boy at NBC and in the 40s when I was a kid. I was 15 years old, the youngest page. I worked with Jim Rabessa. It was Gene's brother. So we've known each other all these years. And when we were younger, we looked very, very much alike. I, of course, I've aged beautifully. <laughs> <laughs> but we have been pals for a long, long time. And the guy that they always say, look, there he is, Gene Rayburn. I don't know yeah. if you get Pete Marshall. I get Pete Marshall uh, all the time. I get Gene Rayburn all the time. At one really? point in my career, I was a spokesman for the Pontiac Corporation. That's I did right. all the commercials, and we used to do these elaborate commercials up at the 106th and Park Avenue sure. Studios. And they had a dream sequence once where they needed a double for me. 
They called Pete. They yeah. changed his hair just a little with a new hair piece, and they gave him a little, they took a plaster cast of my nose, made a new nose for him, and when we had the same clothes on, you couldn't tell amazing. us apart. It really was. Really? Yeah. Yeah.